Hey everyone, it's Gary here from Echidna Sewing and uh, today I want to show you a one of my favourite products and just how easy it is to use and that's our Echidna Opal Film or commonly referred to as Mylar. Now we don't call it Mylar. Mylar is in fact a brand name so or a trademark brand name so uh, this is a very similar product and it's called, we call it Opal Film. Um, but it gives you amazing results on designs that are suitable for using this. And that's what I wanted to cover and show you how easy it is to use today. Firstly, it is available on our website. You can get all the details there. Just uh, search Opal Film, or even if you type in Mylar, you'll probably find it. Um, now, have a look at these designs I have in front of me. Hopefully, camera guys got them on screen right now. Now, these are just some cute little rose designs that we created, and they've been specifically designed for using with this film. And for the sake of keeping this simple, I'm just going to call it Mylar uh, during the presentation. So, um, because that's what most people refer it to as. Now, these designs, believe it or not, uh, it's, a, it's a design pack we have, and each of these designs is using the same Mylar film, the same color. In fact, we only have one color, and that's the opal, opalescent color there. But what's amazing with Mylar is it, um, it actually picks up the hue of the thread color that you're using and then just makes that sort of pop in the design. So if you have a look here, that yellow rose there is exactly the same mylar as we've used on this pink one or this sort of um, tealy color or this lovely purple or this deep red. And um, if we just sort of, oh, we'll get this one here and just sort of flick that around, you'll see it just glistens and, and really does highlight. Now, what happens with, with Mylar designs is, um, or designs that use Mylar or Opal Film, is that we need to have a nice open fill stitch. So the design has to be created to work with this type of product. And we have quite a lot of designs on our website that are suitable. And they'll all be tagged with that word Mylar or Opal Film. So you'll be able to, to find them. In fact, one of our um, free design packs has got a, uh, a cute little butterfly. And I'll quickly show you that. That's this little guy here. Let's get back under the um, camera. This would done this on a little t-shirt, Charles t-shirt, and we're in fact going to stitch this design out right now and show you how it actually works. But we actually have a link for the free design pack that has a, a Mylar, one of the butterflies on it, on the uh, the page for the uh, this film. So if you go and find that, you'll see the link there and you'll be able to download those, those free designs and uh, have some fun. So let's move that out the way. And, and before I do start stitching, I'll just show you another, another bigger version of that um, of that, uh, these roses. And again, you, you can see there's different shades going on in there, but there is the, the opal film or mylar is in under that whole design. There's three different shades of, of colors. There's a, a pink, a red, and sort of a gold in the middle. And honestly, I don't think the camera does it full justice. It looks stunning when you see it in, in real life, but um, the designs that when they're created for Mylar, they're, they're fantastic. All right, so let's have a look at how we go about this. Uh, now, I've got a design already loaded on my machine. I've also printed out a color sequence chart for this design. So this is the design we're stitching, which is the one that was on that little t-shirt. And it's got quite a few color changes. And if we look at the back, and um, we'll get a bit of a close up there for you, uh, you'll see that the first two colors are just the outline of the butterfly. And that is because when we do a design with, with Mylar or this film, uh, opalescent film, we do need to treat it a bit like an applique. So we want to put a placement stitch down first and then a tack down stitch, and that will secure the Mylar in place while we do the subsequent fill stitches. And um, now a lot of people say, can I use it on any designs? There's really no point in using Mylar film, opal film, on a design that is just a normal fill stitch because you won't see it. You have to have a design that's got a nice open fill and typically you have to create designs to do that. So we have loads of them and uh, there's, there's heaps available. You just got to go searching for them. Um, but we do have them on our website, of course. So I'm going to stitch this design. It doesn't matter what color I use for the first two parts because it is just a placement stitch and a tack down stitch. So I've actually used, I've got the color loaded on my machine that will be the color I would choose to use for the first fill area. So um, now I am on a, a single needle machine and it will do a color stop for me. If you're on a multi-needle machine, you might want to um, remember to stop after each color so you don't simply, simply go on and start stitching before you get the mylar in place. I've got a piece of standard white woven fabric on my machine. Um, I've loaded my design, it's on screen, and um, we're ready to go. So the first thing I need to do is to stitch the placement stitch. So all I've got to do is put my presser foot down, hit the go button, 
and um, we'll stitch that placement stitch and this is simply to tell me where the mylar has to go. Okay, so the very first stitch in the design has now, or, or colour change, has been stitched. And it is just a placement stitch. It serves no other purpose than to tell us where to put the mylar or the opal film. Now, I have already cut a little piece out. Now, it goes a long way. So these packs actually have three metres um, or three yards by 13 inches. That's 34 centimetres by uh, just on three metres of film. So you really do get good value out of it. And I've cut a little piece which I know is more than big enough to cover the area that we need to stitch. So all that we need to do now is simply machine has stopped after the first color change, pop the mylar under the foot, make sure that it's covering the whole area of the stitching. Now sometimes depending on the size of the design and the, the size of the sheet of uh, mylar that you're using, you might want to actually um, tape the mylar down onto the fabric so it doesn't move. And the ideal thing to use there is a, a washi tape. So I'm just going to take a couple of little pieces of washi tape here and just stick that down so it's not likely to move. And I don't want to stitch over the washi tape, of course. Um, so I'll just pop that just there. So that's going to hold it in place now. We're all good to go. Let's make sure that's stuck. It is. And now we just got to continue on with the second color change. So let's keep going there. Okay, so now we've finished the second color change, which was the tack down stitch. So that's positioned the mylar beautifully. What I like to do before I peel this mylar or the opal film away, before I tear away what I don't need, is I do like to do the, the fill stitching first, just in case, uh, because it is quite delicate, the, the film, so just in case I happen to, to, um, to rip it or, or do something silly. So I'll get the, uh, the fill stitching done before I actually tear away the excess mylar that I don't actually need. So I know that my third color in this design is in fact the color that I already have on the machine. So right now, and I can see that on my color, on my sequence chart here anyway. So now it's just a matter of continuing on and doing the next step. Okay, so that's the first part of the fill area. In fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue on, finish all the fill areas in this design because they are all uh, that nice open fill for mylar, except for the body of the butterfly, but it's only a small little bit anyway. So let's finish all the fill areas. I've got a couple of color changes to do. I won't bore you, with, bore you while I do that, and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've finished stitching all the filled areas and all that's left to do now is the outline of the butterfly. Let's have a look at that. The outline of the butterfly and the little antennae there. So, and a little bit of the yellow stitching, which is uh, not going to be affected by the mylar. It's just a normal fill stitch. So, all I can do is take the hoop out. There's a couple of trims I need to do on this because this, this is basically a very entry level machine. It doesn't, it doesn't trim jump stitches. So we'll just take that out. It's always harder when you're working backwards on a machine, to be honest. <laughs> so let's have a look at this. Now, um, there's a couple of jump stitches there I need to trim because, as I said, it's not a, a jump stitching machine. It's, um, it's just an entry level embroidery machine, but we're just going to trim those jumps away because I don't want them getting caught up in the, in the scheme of things. And you've got to be careful. You don't want to rip your mylar or, or the film. And um, You'll, uh, I'm sure you're all used to doing this, so we don't need to explain that in too much detail. There's another little jump stitch there. The film actually tears very, very easily, and that's why I like to do all the fill stitching before I try and tear it away, just in case I accidentally tear the film in the area that I want to actually stitch and get the effect. But that can't happen now because it's, it's filled the areas that I, that I want to um, get the effect from. So now just gently Pull it away and try and try and pull it away right to the edge so you don't have to do any excess trimming um, with scissors or anything or tweezers and sometimes you do need to get some tweezers to pull out the little bits and there's a little tiny bit just here you probably can't see it but that's all right you would if you were doing it 
Um, I've got one little thread there, so we'll take that away. So obviously I haven't removed the, uh, the frame from the hoop. I don't want to uh, wreck the position of the design because we've now got to put it back in the machine and continue on and finish it. So that's what's come off, the, the mylar. We can discard that bit, we don't need it. We pop the hoop back in the machine, being careful not to pop the uh, fabric out of the hoop. That would be a disaster. Pop that into there. And the next color is this yellow color, and that's going to be the body of the butterfly. So I'm just gonna change that up and then follow that up with black and that will finish the design. So let's get to it. Okay, so design is finished. So let's take it out of the hoop, see if there's any uh, little trims we need to do. As I said, this is an entry level machine, so it doesn't have jump stitch trimming. Um, but let's get that under the big screen and it looks pretty good. I did do, I did trim a few of the threads as I was stitching it out. So uh, there's not too much to do, but I do notice there's one little tiny white thread just there and I'm just gonna get rid of that. That's just a little bit of bobbin thread, I don't want that. That, that's pretty good. But you know what, the rest of the design looks great. So um, that's it, that's all there is to stitching a, um, a Mylar design. So the tips and the things to remember, and we'll get a bit of a close up on this as you can see it as well, see the, the different colors. But the, the thing to remember is that the, the, the film, the Mylar film, the opal film, whatever you want to call it, it will actually throw off the hue of the color thread that you use. So. Even though there's, I'll try and get that glistening a bit in the in the camera there. Even though there's, um, it's the same film. There's different colours uh, being reflected by the film, from that orange to the red to the dark purple, the light purple, and um, it's such an amazing thing to use. Just remember when you do use this, the design that you use it on it, it has to have some open, quite open fill stitches to have any effect. So. Um, and, and you can insert Mylar at any time during a design if that design indeed has got that type of open fill stitch. So, uh, so it will give you that reflective effect on the thread. But um, it's, it's a great product, easy to use. Just also remember when you're laundering it, treat it as a delicate. Don't hit it with bleach and don't hit it with really hot water or hot iron like that. Um, just treat it like a real delicate and um, it should last you quite a while. So um, hope that helps. It's a fun product and remember, that uh, you can get some, there's free designs that we have available on our website. Some of the free design packs do have a Mylar suitable design in them and you can download those, get some Mylar or Opal Film, keep calling it the wrong thing, um, and uh, have some fun with it. It's, uh, it's really a great product. Hope that helps. Happy sewing, happy embroidering. Cheers.